glass tube. Janet here from Trixie Stitches. Back from an exceptionally long siesta. Life, whatever. I've got lots of... Where's the dang camera? There it is. Lots of things to show you. I've been busy. Hope everybody's been doing well. I have been doing pretty good. Let's see what I'm going to start with. I wrote notes this time because, you know, I have no memory, so I'm trying to spare you the pain. Uh, let's see. I've got FOs, FFOs, and current whips, some stash, a thrift store haul, and some other things. So, Let's start, shall we? Where did I put stuff? Hold on. Un momento. Um, okay, here is... I've showed this finish before, but I just now got around to putting it in a little frame. This is Owen. Just love him. So cute. And I felt like he was like a portrait of a family member. So I had to, you know, put him in a frame. And he's going on the wall next to other relatives. Because that's how I roll. And let's see. This is a wedding sampler. Sorry for the glare. That is obviously for my niece Julia. She gets married on the 25th, so just got this done in time. This is a little house near works. Quick, easy pattern to do instead of uh, most of them that I've done that have taken me many months. This was quick. And let's see. And then there's this one, and this is called Oh, it's a freebie from Plum Street Samplers. Uh, Soldier Sampler. And uh, ouch. I put it in an antique bubble frame. Uh, the glare. So if you don't know what those are, these are aside from the frame being antique. Back in the day, they used to use bubble frames, and oh, can you kind of tell how the glass goes out there? You can, I hunt, it, hunt them down in uh, antique stores and such. But I really love that, and I'm, that'll be going up on the wall in a uh, <clears throat> montage with my, my dad was in World, World War II. So I'm going to put that, you know, his photo, some of his photos from the war, his um, his flag we received when he passed away, and the uh, the letter from the president that you received, that uh, veterans received that have fought more. So looking forward to that. I still have to uh, secure it in there. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on, checking notes again. There. Oh, I'll have to insert a picture here of um, the wedding sample I did for another niece that was married in April. And I don't think I'm not sure if I showed that or not, but I'll go ahead and put a picture in here. And that's it for that. So that's three or four I got done. That's a banner year for me. And and then I finished this one for the fair. 
I just I tried really hard to get a Mirabilia done for the fair like I usually do and I was just killing myself trying to get it done in time so I just said screw it for this year and uh, put in this little piece which is a I think it's a Lizzie Kate I don't know what the it's a series but I don't remember what it's called but The frame, the frame I got from mine, L and S, and that really fits fit the piece perfectly. And those kind of pieces are nice because it's you know just like a four by six, I think. Yeah. You know, you don't have to do anything fancy; it just goes right in there. And let's see. Mm -hmm. okay, I think that's it for that. Um, current whips. Uh, right now I'm working on uh, Plum Street Samplers Snooty Parrot Sampler. And this is going to be a very large one. This is on 36 count. Oh gosh. I can't remember the name. If somebody wants to know shoot me a message and I'll tell you. I can't remember the color now. But that's what I have so far. And I'm enjoying working one over two. I'm glad I have a large magnifier to do this because I've never been able to do this before. Um, so it's nice, you know, I don't have to railroad. I don't have to fuss with the stitches, all that. It's just Zip, zip, zip. Having fun with that. And let's see. This was the mirror I was trying to finish. <coughs> Excuse me for the fair that I just had to, you know, wait on. And uh, this is barely any that you can really see. It's I don't want to take it out of the scroll rods, but this is Bluebeard's Princess. And I have all of her tail done down there. It's just rolled up. So I need to get back to her at some point. And then... Um... Oh, some future starts I'm going to do is we're, me and my, some of my friends are doing, oh, hold on. Oh. That's for all you drink lovers out there. Okay. Listen, I'm not drinking the coffee, and I'm definitely not doing all the things. Ice water. Uh, okay. Let's see, so... September, we're going to do... We're going to work on uh, Chatelaines. So, I'm not starting a new one. I really want to start Ireland Sant... Ugh, there's my voice again. I really want to start um, the Ireland Mandala, but I don't quite have all the stuff yet for it, so I need to wait on that. And so I'm going to go back to my White Knights in St. Petersburg, and this is all I have done on that so far. Of course, you can't see all the sparklies, I'm sure. But it's gorgeous. And it's humongous. About finished piece will be about three by three feet. Well, I'll put that on my wall. I don't know. Um, and then in October we're doing a Just Nan start. So I'm doing the Witchy Pumpkin Cottage. Very cute. Can't wait to start this. 
So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six sides of different little vignettes. And what else? Oh, I forgot to show the um, the pattern for the snooty parrots. So that's what it'll look like when it's done. And that's still available to purchase. Um, let's see what's next here. Rowan! Shh! Rowan! Rowan! Come here! Stranger danger. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Go lay down. Um, next. Ah, uh, thrift store purchases. So, I've been doing thrift store purchases for probably around 20 years, and um, sadly the first one I bought that I really loved was a needlepoint, but it was backed on, um, instead of being laced, it was uh, backed on that sticky board stuff. Um, and so after a few years of having it, it just disintegrated, and so I had to throw it away sadly. Um, but these are some of the things I have. First one I have to show you that I got, this was recently, the finished piece didn't like, like wow, I gotta have that kind of thing, but it's a little embroidery, and just sweet and simple. But the frame was falling apart, and it, it really amazed me when I got it home. And there's two reasons why I got it. When I took it apart, well, first, I just thought it was maybe something from maybe the 50s or the 60s. You know, kind of looks like that. But I was lucky enough that inside of the back piece was this little card attached and it says to my darling granddaughter Frances June Landis I think much love and happy holidays made by your grandma Hodgson Christmas 1943 and the piece is in perfect condition. This is why I'm a big proponent of of uh, lacing things on acid free. It's in perfect condition, front and back. The lacing is still just perfect back there, and it looks great. I was just amazed, so I had to say that. And that note was just precious. And then. There's this one that it's a very long piece, just a single rose needlepoint. And see it's gapping up there. I need to take it out, take the old tape back off and reset it. I, you know, I kind of bought it for the frame, but then I thought, oh, I don't know. I kind of like that. I don't want to toss that, so I'll be going on my wall, too. And then there's this one. No date on it or info, but that's probably from the 80s. This is a, a doily. Somebody obviously made and then had mounted. Very pretty. I'm a closet doilyaholic. I have collected over the years. I, I went through a doily collecting period on eBay. I literally have hundreds, possibly a thousand, lots of doilies. Addictions, people, they're real. 
Then these, this is a set that I got. And again, these were in perfect condition. These really nice frames. This one. So coordinating, but just a little bit different each each uh, stitch piece. Really like those. And, and this one I just found the other day. Um, this is a shepherd's bush, and it says. March 29th, 1991. Dearest Claudia, happy birthday. I love you so dearly. Love your eternal sister, Cynthia. And their names have little, I don't know if you can see that, little halos above the first letter. And it's violets. And it's still in great shape. It's got three mats. Very delicate and pretty. And this one, this is another needle point. This one I think is probably pretty old too. I don't know if it's the 60s or 70s, I'm not sure. But price tag off there. Cushion by batting in there. A little wreath of a wreath display with a. Hold on. Yeah, just a house. I thought it was a church at first, and there's little ducks in the pond. Very sweet. And then this one is giant, so this one will be a kind of a bear to show you. This one is also an embroidered piece, and it kind of looks like um, those uh, stamped kits, except I don't see the stamped areas on it. She either hid them very well, I don't know if she did her own design, but um, it's obvious she was more of an advanced stitcher. She did, I thought it was just basic, um, you know, back stitching, embroidery stitches, or cross stitches at first. But there's also, because uh, there's flowers, they're all packed with uh, French knots, very well done French knots. So even though it looks kind of like it's a, a simplistic uh, stamped piece, it's really well done. And this one is from. Hold on a second. Uh, 1988. See that? It's huge. Just really pretty and detailed. Even though it's in a pink frame, which, you know, kind of meh, it's just, I couldn't leave it there. And I think it cost like $4. I just, I had to save it. So that's on the wall in my bedroom. Oh, it's heavy. Hold on, drink. Okay, just spill that, and look here, ow, um, so I go, you know, I go maybe once a week, twice a week sometime if I'm bored, and just check out the 
thrift store and grab those things that most people, you know, like others have said, don't appreciate and they just throw away or something. I just, I can't leave these. And I hope someday somebody else takes them and when I'm gone and lets them move longer. Because they're awesome. Save the stitches, people. Um... Do, do, do. I had my birthday in March. I it, I turned 50. Trixie is 50. <sighs> you know, it's better than the alternative, but I would still rather be... Well, I don't want to be a teenager, but, you know, it's kind of like eh, middle age. But... One of the things I asked my friends was, I went to a side note, I also, in April, went to the Mirabilia retreat in uh, San Antonio, like I do every year. And um, so for my birthday, I, you know, I told my friends, you know, I, I didn't care about getting gifts or anything, but I said, I would really love just something stitched by you guys. Um, because haul is great and everything, but I just love handmade stuff, and I just appreciate it so much, and it really, really touched me that they actually did it, you know, I was kind of half choking, but they actually did it. So, from my friend Kenny, he made me, I love queen bees, and I think this is a Lizzie Kate. Not sure. Um, it's Be Joyful. And he had it framed. I really love that. And that's hanging in my stitching room. And then uh, my friend Andrea made me a uh, the Bella series of ladies, the Nora Corbett's, four of them. Uh, she made me the Bella B. And I haven't framed her yet. She's beautiful. Just love her. Oh. Don't be a douchebag. And then, <laughs> I couldn't believe this, my friend Julie, she finished this piece by uh, Joan Elliott, The Stitching Fairy, and I joked with her, you know, gosh, that would look just awesome on my wall, never thinking she would actually give me that. Crazy Girl did. And again, I have to uh, frame it, but Stitching Fairy. Isn't she just the sweetest? I just have the best of st friends, stitchy friends. They're, you know, like we always say, stitchy people are awesome. And my friends are even more awesome. And, of course, I got verklempt and cried. Because that's what I do. And, oh, and then also, Julie had my friend Karen, who's great at retrofitting, uh, you know, tweaking our um, mirror patterns if we want a different something added or whatever like that. Um, she, and I don't remember which one it was. One of the... I don't remember, but it's one of the little Nora Corbett fairies. Um, and I... I'm from California, and I love... My favorite flower is the California poppy. And usually you see red poppies. There is a Nora Corbett uh, poppy fairy, but it's red poppy. And they're very different from the California orange poppy. Much more simplistic. Um, 
So I knew there was never going to be one of those, and I've been saying for years I would love to have an orange California poppy. And so Julie had uh, Karen retrofit one of the the fairies to an orange pop, and that just ugh, blew me away. And I can't show you a picture because it's just, you know, the chart, how she tweaked it. But I can't wait to start that. And obviously we'll show you when I get it done because I'm very excited. So, and then what else? What else? What else? Some stash. Now it's been oops, almost, well, it's probably been six seven months since I made a video, so I have a buttload of stash, but this is just some of it that I got. And well, this was another little um, gift from, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, shoot, I forgot one of my gifts, hold on. I knew this was going to happen. I've been keeping in that thing that Leslie made me, my friend Leslie, for months in a safe place so that when I made this video, I'd be able to find it. It's in such a safe place, I can't find it. So, hopefully I will find it and then I will put a picture on the end to show you. It's a um, the theme of the retreat this year, there's always a theme, and this year's was uh, Mad Hatter's Tea Party, Alice in Wonderland. So she made me, it's like a little watch about this big, and inside is um, an Alice with holding the flamingo, and I love flamingos, and it's stitched one over one. Very tiny and intricate, just love it. But per usual. Now that I need it, I can't find it. So, um, on to my haul. So this was one of the gifts that um, Julie gave me. This is Little House Needleworks Poinsettia House. And she put the flosses in with it. And these are some I got from my LNS. This is the Sweetheart Tree. They're, they had the trunk show, and so, you know, when you see stuff in real life, it's obviously much better than the, pat the picture on the pattern, so that's like, oh, I gotta have that, I gotta have that. So, I got the, this is a kit, Country Flower Sampler. Sweetheart Tree. The Tudor Silken Sampler. And this one was very pretty on the wall. Doesn't look like much here, but that's all these really pretty. Ooh. Deep jewel tones. And um, Noel Partridge. And let's see, and then sh the Sweetheart Tree has a little off branch called the, the Bee Cottage. Again, love Queen Bees, so this is Biggie Bee. He just cracked me up with those big eyeballs. Hold on a second. Poe! Whatever you do, knock it off. And this is the Queen Bee. And I'm dropping my water. Uh this is the trilogy. This is a dog treat. And um, 
this is a series I'm really liking, the Mill Hill Charm Santa Faces, Series 2. This is Santa Jingles. So I need to make that for my tree this year. And another new, well, let's see what series is. This is just a continuation of the, um, the different Santas from uh, Mill Hill. Okay. Cut out there for some reason. Um, this is a C. Harper old pattern. It's the, um, what was it called? Love from Above. The giraffe and his mommy. So cute. This is Autumn Splendor by Lindsay Lane Designs. And a Kathy Bear Design Crowned Heart, um, which again, I've seen stitched. It's really awesome, but it <clears throat> looks like crap in the photo. All right, ink Circles, Cirque du Corot. Another one from my friend Julie um, Bumble. This is a hands on design, but the uh, Just Done but Button Company provided the buttons. And cute, a little fob. And I know I got these in. Um, San Antonio at uh, Stitches from the Heart, the LNS there, when I was at the retreat. Uh, this is Needle Bling Designs Trick or Treat. It reminds me of the old samplers that have the, the angels that are, um, you know, facing each other, floating in the sky, but it switches. Which is right up my alley because I love Halloween. And this one was in the bargain bin, and it's a Silver Creek Samplers uh, name of it? Grimes Ghost. And I really loved the, uh, the little saying on it. It says, Old Grimes is dead, we ne'er shall see him more was buried in a brown tweed coat, all buttoned to the floor. Isn't that cute? And then there's little buttons that go. You sew on there. And then I had to drink the Kool-Aid and get this. Let freedom ring. Will I ever to stitch this? Possibly. I love it. But likely, I don't know. And let's see what else. So I gotta take another drink. You see what happens when I don't drink a lot? I sound totally like a prepubescent boy. You really do get dry making these videos. Talking so much. Um that's about it, and the last thing I was going to mention is, uh, some of you may know, I have um, a couple of how-to videos. One is um, how to railroad uh, your stitches, and the other one is uh, how to lace your needlework. And I've had requests in the past to make more um, videos because I'm lucky enough to number one, have a really large magnifying uh, light that really makes um, the detail show up good. And the other thing is I have my husband to help me film, so 
what he does is he stands behind me while I'm working on it and he points it through the magnifying lens so you can really see all the detail. You'll notice that if you watch <coughs> the um, How to Railroad Your Stitches uh, video. And so if anyone is interested in seeing any other detail kind of video like that for um, whatever it may be, how to make a certain stitch or do something, whatever. If you're interested in that, put that below and let me know and I would be willing to do that. Um, you know, a lot of people make uh, how-to videos, but, you know, usually it's the person by themselves and it's hard to get the detail in there, you know, to do the work and then obviously have a, a camera and good enough light and, and amplification to really show what they're doing close up. So, again, if you're interested, shoot me a note and let me know. And uh, any questions or anything like that, put those below. Comments. Love to hear from everybody. Um, excuse me. I think in my next video I will do the 20 things about me. And I'm going to put some, um, I'll also put some uh, shout outs. Because I know that's a big thing, and I haven't done that, and I really um, want to be better th about that. Because there's just a lot of great floss tubers out there, and uh, they deserve recognition, and they deserve uh, to get followers, because they're awesome. So, that's about it for today. With that being said, stay classy, stay trashy, and a little bit sassy. Bye, guys.